In this video, I'm going to put together a measure of center, that being the mean, and a measure of variation, the standard deviation, to talk about what's called the rule of thumb. And the rule of thumb is a, as your book describes it, a crude but simple tool that allows us to interpret what a standard deviation is and what it's telling us. So the first thing I want to do, let's read this example. We sampled a group of teenagers about the number of calories they each consume, and we're talking about per day. After gathering this, we found that the mean number of calories consumed for each person was 2,000, so the mean was 2,000, with a standard deviation of 150. Now for this example, we want to use this information to find a usual range of va values. When it says find a usual range of values, they're referring to the rule of thumb. And the rule of thumb says if you take the mean and you add two standard deviations and you take the mean and you subtract two standard deviations, that gives you a range of usual values. So it gives you, because the standard deviation is defined, if you look at the formula for the standard deviation, you get it using the mean. So this gives us some information about the mean, and we put them together. It allows us to interpret both of them together. So what we're going to do, I'm going to write down what I know. I know the sample mean, remember sample mean is x bar, the sample mean is 2000, and this is calories, and I know the standard deviation, this is the sample standard deviation, so that's just s, that's equal to 150 calories. So to find a range of usual values, I'm going to take the mean, in this case the mean is x bar, and I'm going to add two standard deviations, or 2s. So I get 2,000 plus 2 times 150, which 2 times 150 is 300. This upper limit here will be 2,300. To find the lower limit, I take the mean, and I subtract two values of the standard deviation. And this is 2,000 minus... 2 times 150. You're going to need to do this on a quiz on your test. You will see this and actually once we get into what's called confidence intervals we're going to see this type of procedure, a similar procedure. So 2000 minus 300, this is 1700. So the first thing, use this information to find a usual range of values. So using what's called the rule of thumb, and this is what we're using, the rule of thumb, a usual range of values would be between 1,700 calories all the way up to 2,300 calories. These are the values. Any observation between here would be considered usual. It wouldn't be out of the question, given the information of the mean and the standard deviation. Of course, if the standard deviation was larger, let's say 300 or 400, then we're going to have a larger range down here. And that's because a larger standard deviation means we have more variation the data is more spread out. So if this was, let's say, 200 instead of 150, that means that it would be more spread out. The values are further away from the mean than this particular sample. So this is the rule of thumb. We use the rule of thumb to find a usual range. This is the usual range. Now, if we know what's usual, we can also determine what's unusual. If you're asked to determine if a value is unusual, you're first going to need to find this usual range, and then you're going to determine whether or not that observation is in here. So would a teenager consuming 1,500 calories a day be an unusual observation given the results of our sample? Well, given the sample mean that we got was 2,000 with a sample standard deviation of 150, our usual range was 1,700 to 2,300. If you look at 1,500, 1,500 would be to the left of 1,700. So 1,500 calories is not in this range. It's not in the range. So would this be an unusual observation? We would say yes, because this observation does not fall within two standard deviations of the mean, of the sample mean. 1,500 calories a day would be an unusual observation. 